Okay, so it's Saturday morning. I'm getting ready. I'm about to go visit my friend. And ugh, I want so desperately to go to my favorite coffee shop in town, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. And I just want to clear the air. Um, he didn't tell me I can't come back. I just really, I, I really just don't think that I should. Okay. So pull up to the coffee shop and I hate when the owner's there because he's so nice. He's really, really nice, but blah, 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 blah. And he doesn't take a hint. The mother trucker cannot take a hint. Normally, I hate small talk, um, like when I'm just trying to grab something, like a coffee or whatever, and he loves it. And I've tried to be on the phone. I've tried to wear my sunglasses the whole time and just show my disinterest in the conversation, but it never fails. It never fails. He will not quit talking. So I pull up and I'm on the phone with my husband and my husband knows the only reason I'm on the phone with him is because I don't want to talk to the guy at the freaking coffee shop. And I'm on the phone and don't worry though, because the guy starts talking to me. I have this sticker on the side of my car. It says story time Slayer. It's for my true crime podcast. And he says, oh, story time. So story time podcast. Well, I bet you're super busy this week with the bean read across America week. At this point, I go ahead and I just put my phone down, okay? I'm like, okay, babe, I'll call you back. It didn't work, right? And I don't even answer him. I don't even respond to him. I don't read to the fucking blind. I do a true crime podcast. Read Across America Week has nothing to do with me. I feel bad for him because he knows it. He's asked me about the podcast 50,000 times. Okay, so I just move on with the conversation. I tell him I would like to get a four-shot coconut toasted latte. Immediately tell he does not like the coffee that I ordered. I don't know why, he takes my money, he charges me for the four shot latte, but he does not like that drink order. The barista is making my coffee and he says, you know, that's gonna be a strong coffee. Well, no shit, it's a four shot latte. I'm almost 30. I think I know what strong coffee is and when I need it, you know what I mean? Then. Then the guy says, ooh, just so you know, I'm not going to be able to put as much milk in that latte because it's so many shots of espresso. That's strike one. I'm like, well, no, we're at strike two now. Strike one was the small talk. Strike two is charging me for a coffee that's not going to taste this, the, the right way. You know what I'm saying? But I don't say anything. I'm just like, that's fine. No problem. When I say, oh, that's fine. No problem. That's a lie. There's a, there's a problem. There's a big ass problem but I'm not gonna say anything because what, what can I do now, right? It's already done. <sighs> well, then they finish the coffee and it turns out they couldn't fit a damn drop of milk in it because their cups aren't big enough. And split it up between two cups, put a little bit of the overflow in another cup, or I don't know, get a bigger cup, or I don't know, say something about this before you take my money and make the drink, okay? stupid coffee shop guy is so nice and friendly i can't even I, I can't even say anything i just say when they make my coffee i see it in the window next to him he tells me oh man i can't even fit any milk in it because it's got so many shots of espresso that you ordered like this is my fault this is my fault for giving him my money for for a coffee that he told me he'd make me I still don't say anything rude. I just say, you know what? That's fine. It's fine. I will take the hot cup of espresso that I didn't order. But no, I'm going to take it. That's fine. Because in my head, I'm thinking I'll go home. I'll put it in a bigger cup. I'll put some milk in there. I'll be my own motherfucking barista. Okay? Mind you, he's like this with my coffee. Okay? I've said, it's fine. It, it's fine. Just, I'll take the coffee for times and i already told y'all it's not fine if i go like this it's not okay but like i'm trying so hard to work with this guy you know what i mean and i lost it when he's standing behind the counter with my coffee like this and he says you know what if you go home and get a bigger cup and i i stopped him i stopped him no way this dude already messed up my latte and now he's gonna tell me how to go home and make my motherfucking latte like i worked for him after i didn't pay him and I, I did it. I, I snapped and I said, give me my coffee. What, what, what? 
He could not even register what I said to him because I was just done with the shit. I said, Get, give me, give me the coffee. Just give me the cup of coffee. And he was like, have a blessed day. And I said, yes, I need to go read to the fucking blind. Remember, it's Read Across America Week, motherfucker. And here I am. I really want to go back there. I would even order a triple shot if I had to just to get one more toasted coconut latte, but I can't.